hi there, in this video we're going to go over the little assembler that I've built in the uh, Microsoft Excel. The first column there is just a number column, okay, so it just says it starts at uh, instruction 0. Now the next three columns, B, C and D, is the 8-bit instruction code, okay, so the first four bits are defined, and most of them, the first four bits are defined uh, in the opcode, and then we have an an RA and an RB, okay, that's two bits and two bits, so those three columns are the 8-bit instruction, and the fourth, the column E, is the extra uh, byte that's required for some of the instructions, for example, the date instruction requires an extra byte, and the uh, the jump instruction requires a diff, an extra byte as well, okay? And there's a, a name for them, okay? Just a three, four letter um, short name for each of the instructions and a description in words what the instruction is and an example of the instruction. Now, so what you can do is you can actually write in your instructions. So when you write in data, X or CLF, so any of these in column F, any of these instructions, the um, actually goes on a VLOOKUP and finds them in the VLOOKUP. Okay, so maybe I can show you that. Oh, maybe unhide this so that you can see them. So there you go. So it's, it's got an opcode there for these. So add is the opcode 1000, shift right is 1001, shift left 1010, blah blah blah, and the opcode for um, the jump is there's the upload for all the the jump if instructions, okay, and there's the registers as well, just a name of the registers, so R zero 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 one etc. And I've got added an extra one in, which is the end. So when it's finished, um, I can put in at the the end, and and so it means that that code gets picked up, and I've put the extra bit of circuitry in the control section so that it recognises that opcode and tells you whenever the uh, program has ended. Okay, so the re most of the rest of these columns, it's just a bit of messing about to get everything in the right format. For example, these uh, jump codes, um, these are actually 8 bits, so that's the full 8 bits, and these are only 4 bits, so these, were, these codes here have to be... Um, what's the right word, they have to be uh, joined together with um, these codes here, okay, uh, in order to produce the overall codes, whereas these ones don't, so a bit of jiggery-pokery just to get it in the right order, but that, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it, let's see, um, I'll just hide these, hide, okay, so whenever you've written them in, the, the your code in here, you can just press the output to logism and it will output the code to a file. And where's the file? Let's see. I'll copy the file. The file is just in my text file. Right? Okay, so that's a file with all of the codes and it's in the format, it's in, um, in hex, and it's in a format that's readable within logism to load it into. A RAM element logism, and it's actually um, got all the zeros in for the other, the rest of the um, the 256 uh, bytes of address. Okay, so so that's really um, all there is to the assembler, and it would be a nice thing, you know, sometime in the future, to to write a a, a bit of a high level language just a few constructs within it and then watching it um, work through a, a process of, of being um, compiled and then assembled and then going down into the, uh, just the, the machine code. But that, that's, that's for the future. So that's all there is in this video and the next video we'll get through this. This um, example here multiplies the two numbers together so it multiplies 5 with 5 and gets the answer 25 which is 19 in hex okay thanks for listening goodbye